Welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Ruco. There's a new trend when it comes to popping the question, just in time for Sweetest Day weekend. Jimmy Rhodes has the top three stories people will be sharing around the D. At number one, with marriage laws changing fast, more and more LGBT couples will be popping the question this Sweetest Day weekend. Welcome to the club, folks. We heteros have been stumped by the whole ring shopping thing for years. It's all beautiful, but what are the rules? I went to Ann Duke at Tapper's Jewelry in West Bloomfield to find out the trends in LGBT wedding rings. First up, cliches are passe. The traditional triangle or rainbow is really not what people are looking for nowadays. Right. Remember that bands don't have to match. Maybe one partner goes with the yellow gold, another with the white gold. And many couples who did commitment ceremonies years ago are trading in those old bands for upgrades. You see a lot of couples go to these pave diamond bands, which are beautiful. The basic rule is there are no rules. It's all inclusive. Everything goes. At number two, the works of one of Detroit's own, the late great crime novelist Elmore Leonard, are on display for the public to admire. Elmore Leonard was one of the most important writers of the second half of the 20th century in the United States. But you'll have to travel to see the vast collection because it's at the University of South Carolina's Thomas Cooper Library. Leonard started out writing westerns before turning to crime fiction. He preferred to write on unlined yellow legal pads, then type out his manuscripts. In all, he wrote 45 bestsellers, many of which were made into films like Get Shorty and Be Cool. Manuscripts, novels, screenplays, letters, and photographs are all part of the collection. Leonard died in August 2013 at his Bloomfield Township home. At number three, production of Batman vs. Superman has pulled up stakes in the D. So fans hoping to catch a glimpse of the action should head to the MSU campus in East Lansing and the Broad Art Museum. The museum's website has posted it will be closed until October 21st, but makes no mention of the film. Film production is reportedly expected back in the D next week and then moves out for Chicago in November. Now you're caught up and clued in around the D.